What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report, as well as the Joe Boo Broke Ass Media, and whatever else you want to call us. Um, yeah, I don't know what you want to call us, but as long as you're saying my name, that's all I care about. I'm uh, wishing everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Hope everybody's having a great one. Um, fellas, hope you didn't forget your ladies. Ladies, hope you didn't forget your fellas. And um, make sure you take care of your, your, your wonderful woman. I, uh, the work never ends here. The work never ends. Uh, my man Jacob Garrett wants to get um, let's see what's going on. Let's see. Hmm. See, Mike's not here and got all kinds of problems. Um, let me try it again. There we go. I heard a little, bloop, so maybe that's it. Um, Jacob Garrett. There we go. Jacob Garrett wants a uh, butcher block that looks like AT&T Stadium. And you know how we roll here. We going to do just that for Jacob. All right, so I got a real question. And I'm doing a, a Jerry Jones right now. Jerry Jones... You know, Jerry. Jerry Jones likes to stir some shit up. You know, he likes to stir some shit up. And so I'm going to stir some stuff up right now. So we've begun the waiver wires here, okay? We have the waiver wires going on right now. Um, that means teams can go ahead and get rid of players or release players. And you're going to start seeing a lot of names that will be released because uh, they can't afford them or they're not playing as well as they would like. And so they're going to release them or waive them. And Carson Wentz apparently is on the list. They want to either trade him, and if they can't trade them, it looks like they may release him. So here's the good news because there's a lot of teams out there that are quarterback needy, okay? Some that are needy and don't realize they're needy as well. You know, Washington definitely has already stated that they are in the, uh, they are going to be looking at some veteran quarterbacks to make some moves because they know what they have right now is not good enough for them to make that run for the Super Bowl. And so they're going to look through and try and make some moves to possibly find somebody. So could Carson Wentz go to Washington? Well, Washington has taken chances on guys with less of a pedigree. I mean, Carson Wentz was at one point a uh, MVP candidate. He was an MVP candidate. And if you listen to Dan Orlowski, he has a Hall of Fame pedigree. So you start thinking about, okay, he might be salvageable. <coughs> now, I don't think that Washington is going to go for Carson Wentz. I don't think that's the case. But I was sitting here thinking about who could go for Carson Wentz. And this is where I'm pulling my, 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 my Jerry Jones. Because, you know, <laughs> I like to stir some shit up. <laughs> you know, I like to stir this shit up. So, let me stir some shit up here. Is it possible, is it possible that the Eagles could bring back Carson Wentz? Philly 500, I know how much you love Carson Wentz. You know, you, you, dog, don't, don't, don't even try it. 
Don't try it, Philly. You know how much you love Carson Wentz. You know you were heartbroken when Carson Wentz left. You know that, yeah, you're okay with Hurts, but you know where your heart really is, Philly. Now, think about this, though. Okay. Originally, when the Eagles went for Carson Wentz, they were way in the drive. You know, like, you know, like 13th or so. I don't know. They, they, they traded with Tampa Bay and then traded with that, with Cleveland, to move up to get Carson Wentz, right? They ended up drafting, using a lot of draft capital to get him. Now, they signed a big contract to him. They paid him a bunch of money last year to go away, right? So he went away, but here's the thing. In return, they got a first and a third for Carson Wentz, right? Okay. If he's a free agent, his value has been lessened. So, yeah, you paid him $32 million last year or $34 million to go away, right? But you may be able to now pick him back up for about 20 along with a first and a third. So, basically, you could look at it and say, what we did here was we rented out Carson Wentz to the Colts, and for compensation, we got a first, a third, and now we can get him at a cheaper rate. Because if you're not really sold on Hurts, and knowing that there's so few quarterbacks out there to get, right? This is a terrible draft for quarterbacks, and you know, you've got all these picks. Think about it. What better way to actually say, okay, we can get Carson Wentz back here. We've got now, what, three number ones? It's an offensive line heavy draft. You could go through and say, we're going to take Carson Wentz here or Jalen Hurts. And we're going to take these picks and we're going to put them towards an offensive line. I originally started this as a joke to you Eagle fans, but quite frankly, it's actually not that bad of a plan. And um, for those who are opining for Carson Wentz, I know he had a rough season. I know he looked like ass sometimes. But really, in reality, he's not that bad of a quarterback. I mean, he's no worse than, than Daniel Jones. He's definitely better than anything that the Washington football team has. And there's a lot of teams that are going to be looking for quarterbacks. So Carson Wentz will have a value. I mean, do you think uh, Atlanta really wants to pay $46 million for Matty Ice? I don't think so. Tampa Bay needs a quarterback, right? Tom Brady's retired unless he unretires. And, and then there's the usual suspects that always need a quarterback. So that's my, my thoughts on it. In the meantime and in between time, we're going to cut out AT&T. Are you ready to rock and roll, dude? Let's rock and roll. I thought it was going to be more dramatic. It's thinking. It's simulating its path. And it's going to cut that shit. There we go. It's going. <laughs> I love this thing. It's bad. I'll see you later.